Next, let's talk about trap printing versus overprinting. Uh, right now, if I were to take this little object here and I would print it, um, this red guy is sitting right on top of this blue guy. So if I were to take this red and print it with some thin ink in a screen printing process, it might look something like this, where I change this to overlay, right? So uh, I have red, I have a little bit of purple, and I have a little bit of blue. And that's just one thing that printers can do in order to give you additional colors. However, most of the time, that's not how our printers work. Um, usually we do what's called trap printing. And that means that uh, using really good registration, uh, we're gonna have a blue shape that looks like this, kind of a swirly part there. And then the yellow part uh, is kind of swirly, and then it has red inside. And that's kind of what the trap uh, means. So if I take this red shape here and I kind of double click on it, you can see inside my isolated group, if I turn off the red, I'm left with that yellow shape. So you see how that red is, uh, again, trapped inside there. So we have to set up the graphics so any kind of overlapping shapes like this are ready to be trapped. So I'm going to select them all and I'm going to um, hit this trim button and it's going to turn each object into a shape um, ready to be trapped. So over here, you can see inside the isolated group. Let me isolate the group here. Um, I have a blue shape that can be pulled out. And I actually have another blue shape that's um, kind of also part of that. And then I have this red shape and this yellow shape. So everything is kind of cut apart. So let me Command Z that all back together. Um, so we have all these little tiny pieces and spaces left over. Now we're going to do the same thing over here on our main graphic that we're working on. Um, now once again I have done expanded type and strokes. So I expanded the type and I expanded the strokes on the type and all the other objects. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to hit that uh, trim button in my Pathfinder again. Now if Pathfinder is not showing up it's Window and Pathfinder. So hit that button and it trims it all out. So our next step then is to turn this into as few shapes as possible. If you look over here at our uh, layers panel, you can see we've got a great deal of shapes. We're gonna make this nice and easy on our screen printer by having just one shape that is yellow and one shape that is red.